one. What up, peeps? It's your girl KC Diva here. Welcome to another edition of Afterthoughts. 90 Day Fiance Top WTF Moments. I'm your girl KC Diva, uh, along with uh, the ever so handsome Mr. Anthony Adam joining me. <laughs> Anthony, how's it going tonight? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You are too kind by saying I'm ever too handsome. You are the gorgeous one here. Come Aww. on now. Come on. You're too kind. You're too kind. Oh, how are you? The, 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 <laughs> the bigger question is this. How are you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. You know, today was a little bit of a challenge. You know, sometimes mm. things happen in life that, you know, just kind of get you on edge and all, you know, kerfuffled. Mm -hmm. Um I but hear you. you know what? The show must go on. So yes. we're here we're doing this. And uh, I'm excited to be here because uh, last night was the the part two of the tell all mm. for 90 Day Fiance. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, I have to admit, Aunt, I was rather disappointed. I was rather disappointed with, with actually part one and part two. I, mm. Um, I mean, I, I, I just, I fell asleep. I had to keep rewinding. Mm -hmm. I wanted a little more action. What did you mm -hmm. think? You know what? I, I'm right there with you. I actually fell asleep on the first tell-all, first half of the tell-all uh, last week, and I actually had to get up and rewind it again. So mm -hmm. I had to rewatch it again from the beginning, and I ended up going to bed later. And then mm -hmm. this week, you know, when I watched it last night, I'm like, that's, it, it seemed like it was short. I'm like, Wait, it was that's very it? short. That's it. Yeah. I, it felt like it was thirty minutes almost. I'm like, that's it. That, that yeah, yeah. Where, where, where's the fire? Where, where is the <laughs> controversy that I am? You, where are the explosive arguments and the fights? Yeah, that we are so used to seeing in past tell all. Yeah. this it was a little bit more tame. It was, it was. a snoozer. It, it was a snoozer. Was. Um, was. you know, I mean, there were a couple, couple interesting moments. Um, mm. you know, we had Amina. Um, who looked amazing, and yes. you know she she was joining us from or joining them from Paris, <laughs> and uh, she had a rule that she would only be on the screen if Andrew was not there. She did not want to see him. She didn't want to mm. talk to him. She didn't want to hear from him. She wanted no parts. Mm. And some of the other cast members felt that was kind of unfair because they're like, well, you know, we're all here with our mm -hmm. people, and we want to know what happened. I mean. Right now, we just know your side. We're not able to hear his side, mm -hmm. you know. And Andrew, you know, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they said, "Well, why don't you let her do her thing and come back?" And and he kind of stormed out like a brat. He wasn't mm -hmm. having it. He was like, "If I can't, um, you know, talk to her and and be there while she's there, then I'm just gonna go home." And that's what he did. Wow. You know? I mean, I was not. I mean, you know what I thought. I, I mean, I. I thought like every other, like every, I'm sure like a lot of people, I thought he was going to be like, okay, you know what? I'll go back in and tell my side of the story. He was like, no, I'm leaving. He literally, he literally got in the car. And yeah. like, that was the shocking moment for me. I'm like, he actually left. Yeah. <laughs> and even, and even when the producers told him like, Hey, everybody's out here. They're, ca they're, they're caping for you. They agree with you. They don't think it's fair. Right. You know, they were like, no, we want to hear his side of the story too. And sadly, we'll never get to hear his side of the story. Right, he, he left. <laughs> he did right. that. So yeah, I was, I was, uh, I was disappointed in that. Um, yeah. Although not surprised, I'm not a fan at all. I find him to be a huge, huge, mm -hmm. just arrogant prick. Honestly, mm -hmm. like you know, he was really rude to her. Mm -hmm. um, we saw it at home play out, whereas the cast members probably hadn't seen it yet. So you know, they're just going on Nina's word. But we saw how he treated her, and everything yeah. she said was true. You mm -hmm. know, so. I don't blame her for not wanting to, to see him and deal with him. And, you know, he's very mm -hmm. verbally abusive to her. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I, I I lost respect for him when he stayed in Mexico while she when she got sent back. I mean, he's like, well, you know, I can't get my money back. Well, listen, dude, that's going to be you're going to chalk, chalk it up to that two grand to say, you know what? I lost it. I lost it. But I'm trying to I'm trying to focus on getting 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 with my woman. And I, and, you know, I'm not going to sit here and enjoy a vacation that I pay for for the both of us to enjoy, and she got sent back home because then that's like saying, "Well, you really don't." To her, in her mind, she's like, "Well, you really don't care for me." So that's when I lost respect for him. Yeah, but then too, didn't didn't he pay for her ticket when she when she didn't get on the plane? He paid for her to go back home to Paris because she didn't have any money. 
Did you he pay for to get back home? Yeah. So yeah, uh, I want to say if I remember correctly, she sent he he sent her because according to her, if I remember correctly, he sent her a text message saying because they could remember, remember they got into that fight and right, he said you can kids. either yeah, exactly and she and he said to her you can either go home or you can come here. And I guess he sent her a ticket to each, and she chose. Oh, okay, okay, mm. I was, okay. I missed that link there. Okay, yeah. because I was like, wait, how did if he was mad that she didn't get a plane? Why? Okay, got it. So she chose to go home. Okay, I got you. I'm following. Yeah, you. I, I, I think what it was is that was kind of a bully move. See, he yeah. thought, okay, I'm gonna send you a ticket to go home. I'm gonna send you a ticket to come to U.S. Thinking she's gonna pick the obvious, come to the U.S. But he was shocked and was like, whoa, she went home. <laughs> That's like, funny, I'm done with you. <laughs> yeah, but but did you see the bombshell she dropped last night though? There's two of them she dropped. Which one? Well, there's one that she has a new man already. She has a new man that's in the U.S. What's the that second, one? The second one was that the minute she got back to Paris, she noticed he was back on the dating site already. Oh right, right. Andrew was out there, uh, <laughs> you know, emailing folks as soon as she, you know, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't mm. know, Andrew. Andrew, I, I'm I'm not a fan. Not a fan. Nope. But you know, I I do wish Amina the best. Um, it was we kind do. of funny because they joked they joked and said, uh, you know, oh, it's probably another American person, and and, and, then, was, she, and her eyes lit said, up real fast. Said, too. Oh, we'll, we'll see you in the U.S. You know. <laughs> so does this mean we'll see her on another on before the ninety days, or will we see her on the next season of ninety I'm days? I'm sure we'll see her again. I mean, I think mm. she's yeah. I think we're gonna see her again. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Um, mm. the other thing that happened that's worth mentioning, I guess, is uh, Minty and uh, Tariq, Tariq and, and Hazel. Hazel. Oh, the geez. threesome. You know, Tariq, Tariq, Tariq had me laughing. Tariq was really trying to explain <sighs> to the group, you know, he's like, is that what y'all think? And they're like, well, what is it? Like, yeah. you want a, girl, a girlfriend, like, mm. you know, mm -hmm. oh, oh, wait, come on, we're not stupid. Yeah. Uh, he was trying to explain it. They weren't buying it. And then, of course, of course, in true 90 day fashion, they had uh, Minty on the screen. And, <laughs> and but I was laughing at when, Missy said, like Sean said, well, what do you think it is? Why do, why do you think Hazel doesn't like you? She said, because guys don't find her as attractive as me. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. Awkward. I mean, yeah, awkward. This, I, I mean, listen, Missy's a beautiful girl, beautiful, beautiful lady and everything, but you, you don't say that. And, and the thing that people have to remember is that they were making it seem like this was all Tariq who wants this relationship. When in truth, it's Hazel who is the one that is is that that you know yeah. is bisexual. And so you know, even Rebecca was like, "Well, you married one of them, so didn't you make your choice?" It's like Rebecca, you no, no, no. That's what he's trying to explain to you is this is her idea to do this. Right. I'm along for the ride. And so I think that's why a lot of people weren't getting it because he was trying to explain it. And and Hazel was upset already, and she acted like she didn't even want to be there <laughs> the whole time. Yeah, I think so. she, she was done once Hazel, once uh, Minty showed up, and mm. you mm. know, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, 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 again, anytime you invite someone, you know, in a third party, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, whatever you, you know, your little let your freak flag fly, whatever you do, you do. But just know there are consequences. Mm. And that's what Hazel's finding out. Mm -hmm. you, know, like, you know, he's a mm -hmm. guy. Guys like yeah. pretty things. If you put it in front of them, if you put cake in front of a, a kid, kid's going to eat the cake. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just, yeah. I mean, <laughs> I so mean, it, it, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Best of luck to them too. Best luck to them. Best luck to them. <laughs> yeah, overall, I just um, you know, nothing real riveting going on. Uh Rebecca talked way more than I cared to hear her talk. She just had mm -hmm. something to say about everything and trying to mm -hmm. figure everything out. And it yeah. was just really annoying. But um Yeah. Rebe Rebecca yeah. needs to learn to shh sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, just shh. That's all you gotta do. Yeah. I yeah. swear no no Rebecca Rebecca shh. I was waiting for Sean to do that. I'm just like, when are you gonna? When are you gonna tell? Is anybody gonna tell someone to be quiet here? Everybody's kind of like, oh, here she goes again. 
Ooh, All right. Okay. Well, you know, so so that's done. Mm-hmm. And let's talk briefly about now. If you don't have Discovery Plus, yes, we're gonna look into on, on some craziness that's going on there because it, it is. I mean, it, it's just it, it's amazing. I think I think the single life ninety days mm. of the single life is better than. Uh, the regular 90 day. Yes. Uh, happily, anything. You know, it's just seeing these people mm-hmm. actually trying to date, like outside of what we've seen on the show, is hilarious. Oh, yeah. And, and and the best part about it, too, is it's uncensored. So you hear everything. Yes. You hear everything. Yes. That's why I like my reality shows. I want them uncensored, yes. uh, you know, uncut. I want to see everything. I want to <laughs> see it all. I want to hey. hear it all. <laughs> well, 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 well. I don't want to see everything with Colt. Because, yes, y'all, Colt is on there. And, you know, yeah, yeah. We, we, we saw too much of him last season when he was in Brazil more than we wanted to I see. I saw too much of him last night when he was oh! on the bed in his oh! and everything oh! was just spread everywhere. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Um, okay, so what you all may not know is you may remember a name, a woman called Vanessa. Mm. Now, Vanessa was the reason that Je- Jess, if you remember Jess, she was the fiery redhead Latina mm-hmm. uh, with the big glasses that Cole, you know, basically kind of strung along. She was young and naive, and mm-hmm. he was a rebound from Larissa, you know. Mm-hmm. Let's- Yep. Um, you know, she broke it off. She never she she never did buy that there was nothing going on with this Vanessa person, and lo and behold, she was right. Because mm-hmm. they were they were, you know, dipping in and in, in such in the seat in the sheets and yep. doing their thing. And um, you know, a couple episodes ago we saw this awkward meetup with Colt and Vanessa and Jess and her husband, and yeah, you know, it's kind of what the hell? What what the point? What was the point in that? Just to say, I'm sorry that yes, we were really sleeping together on you. I mean, the girl's married, she moved on, leave her mm-hmm. alone. Yeah. But in last night's episode, you know, Colt. Cold something that I didn't see coming. Mm, that little circle thing, that little thing that says I'm ready to make, I'm ready to take that next step with you. Goes right here. Goes right mm-hmm, here. Mm-hmm. You figured it out yet? Yes. Beyonce yes. had a song about it. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So Please and, and your song. Um, put a ring on it. And mind you, they've only been an official couple. I mean, the meaning they've only had the title of boyfriend girlfriend for. About what, like a couple of weeks, maybe? When I mean, you say you couple, know, I mean, like I, I two weeks. That too. I, did, I, got, I thought about that too, but but uh-huh. they've been free. You know, the thing that I that I think, okay, it could work for a few reasons. Uh-huh. One, Vanessa, you know, comes across like she's not going to take any shit from him. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Like, you know, I, I actually kind of like her. You know, it, it seems like they were both in bad marriages. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, they met up at a time. They were both vulnerable. Her more so than him. Because Cole, you know, he's Mr. Want to be player, player. But <laughs> but she was vulnerable. She, you know, was got out of a bad marriage. You know, got the divorce. You know, sometimes it happens. You know what I'm saying? He, he, they met up. They consoled each other, literally. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it turned into more than that. So, mm-hmm. Maybe this is it for Cole. I mean, because it seemed like they were friends first. Yeah. And yeah. then it developed into more than a friendship. Um, he, you know, for those of you that might be a little slow to the, to the table, he mm-hmm. had a ring that mm-hmm. he wanted to Vanessa, but he wanted his mom. Uh, what's his mom's name again? Debbie. 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 Yeah. Debbie's approval. Mm-hmm. And Debbie's response was, are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> <laughs> I about fell off the couch. I was mm-hmm. like, because oh. you know she likes Vanessa. They've gone she to bingo together. They've hung oh, yeah. out. But she mm-hmm. did say to the cameras, to the producers, that here goes Colt again, rushing into something. Mm-hmm. So it'd be got- interesting to see what Vanessa says. Yeah, you got you got to let that marinate a little bit. You got you got to really see where that goes. You know, because now. <laughs> Because y'all was friends with benefits. Now y'all got the title. So now it's a whole, di- that's that's a different ball game. So Indeed. We'll Indeed. see where this goes, you know. So best yeah. of luck to them. It's a, yeah. You know who else is on there? Uh, Yo, yo boy. Uh, My boy. No neck. <laughs> Walk around like this. 
Poor Ed. <laughs> you know what? You know what? All jokes aside, you know what? I I I I really want the best for Ed. I really do. I mean, I he seems like a lovable guy. Ed, though, Ed. Ed mm-hmm. is a nice guy, but Ed needs mm-hmm. to get his own damn age group. Yes. Yes. And quit, get out of the kiddie pool, Ed. You're too old for the kiddie pool. Yes. And quit dating 20 and 30 year olds. Mm. And yes. find you someone. The man's 55. Find you someone that is in your age group, at least mm. in the 40s. Can you go in the 40s? Exactly. That's I mean, I mean, late 30s. But, you know, okay. <laughs> at least. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I mean, somebody older than your daughter because the yes. girl on this show yes. is like two years younger than his daughter. Yes. And from the next episode, from what we see, his daughter and him and the girl he's seeing all meet up. And it, mind it, you, she does not look happy. She does not look happy. And mind you, the girl he's dating had her guard up towards Ed. She made it seem like she was not interested in the relationship with him at all. But just being like literally, like literally, just being his friend, like somebody that you go kick it with on the weekends, and y'all have dinner, and then you know, you okay, hey, let's do lunch a couple of days. She seemed like she wanted to be that type of friend, not a friend with benefits, but just a, a genuine friend to him. Yeah, but you know, I almost think she saw him as like, um, yeah, I think because she's out of a bad relationship too, mm-hmm. and here's this guy who's fawning over her. He's yeah. spending all this money on her, wanting to. The wanting to date her, yeah. I think it went from, oh no way, you're like old as my dad, and it's weird, mm-hmm. to, well, what the hell, he's he's pursuing the hell out of me. <laughs> Maybe I'll see where this goes. There you and go. A little bit of camera time too. I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, but that road trip though, him in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, okay, Pete. So they so Ed invited um her to a wedding, his yes. new boo, or potential boo. I don't know if they're official yet. Mm-hmm. But um he invited her to go to a wedding with him, three hour drive. Mm-hmm. Uh he hires my, you know, a Uber or whatever, so they could sit in the back seat and chit chat and and you know, be weird or whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he, he reminded me of like a ADD kid or something. Like he was just like squirrel. Oh, car. Oh, look at look at the pumpkin. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the, you know. <laughs> it's like Ed. Calm down, Ed. He he, he reminds you of the calm person. <laughs> he reminds you of the person that you sit next to on a plane that won't stop talking even when you put the headphones on to tell them like, hey, right? He's like, yeah. They still try to talk. I'm tired. I'm gonna take a little nap. And they just exactly, keep talking. Exactly. Exactly. It's like, can you just? For a second here, I got my headphones on. I don't want to hear you no more. I, I was waiting for her to pull out some headphones. Truth be told, I thought you were gonna she, do that. Well, you, did you see? Because like, they pulled over and stopped for a minute, mm-hmm. and she said, "Oh, I can't wait to stretch my legs." And she popped up out of the. She did. <laughs> she jumped out of the bed. I was dying. Like, and when she came back, she had the headphones in. <laughs> But I'm going to tell the people what, who Ed was talking to on the phone while she was uh, taking a little break. Oh, you want me? Okay, I'll tell. So, yeah, go for it. So, so here's what happens. So now the, whole, now, now the plan is they still stay in separate beds in the same room, okay? Two queens, something like that. Well, he gets a call and they say, hey, uh, we want to let you know because there's a lot of reservations coming in. We actually had to move you to a one California king size bed. Are you okay with that? And Ed is just like, sure, no problem. Like, it's nothing. <laughs> And I'm sitting there going, I'm like, oh, this is not going to go well. <laughs> this is not going to go well for you. I don't know. I, you did feel it was staged. I felt like, I felt like, did Ed call the hotel ahead of time and be like, that's, look, mm, I, I'll throw an extra couple hundred bucks if you do this for me. <laughs> that's that's what I'm thinking, too. I'm thinking, you know what? There probably never was a Calif- uh, uh, qu- two queens. So probably what happened was is that he just said, you know what? Give me the king size. But then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some. I'm gonna I, listen. I give you a couple fifty. I give you fifty bucks extra if you call me. <laughs> I'll put it on speakerphone and make it sound like they don't. So that way she's manipulated and she ain't got no choice. I mean, and she was kind of. She got back in the car. He's explaining it to her, and she. He's like, "Would you be opposed?" And she's like, "I'm not opposed to it, but I'm also kind of suspect about the." Re- <laughs> Uh, duh! Like, come on, how convenient mm-hmm. is that? Now, mm-hmm. now, now, here's the thing: 
I expected when they got to the room that she'd be like, okay, uh, hello, uh, concierge. I need yeah. a, a roll away. A, cot. <laughs> a cot. Yeah. I need yep. a cot to roll away because uh, mm-hmm. we're not sleeping in the same bed. Mm-hmm. Nope. I need to take a drink. I got I mean, to take a drink for this. I'm going to take a drink too. Okay. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready. <sighs> Anthony, you tell him. I can't do it. Ed and the girl ended up kissing. <laughs> you, I mean, you, you never. Th- no, not just a kiss. We're not talking about a. It was a like little makeup. Uh, little makeup. It was tongue. They, they, was, they was playing tonsil hockey with each other. I didn't okay. see any tongue. Was there tongue? I'm sure no. it was. Well, I mean, they got a, they, it was like a lot of. Yeah, it was a lot, a lot of. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of them old, old elder couple kisses. Them, yeah, them grandma and grandpa kisses. That's what it was. I just felt my lunch come up to here. Ah, okay, that was that was just weird. You know, again, it, it's the. I think it's just that he looks. She looks like her do- his daughter. Yes. He looked like his daughter. You know, even even like when they checked into the the hotel and he's paying for everything, they walked off. Mm. And I'm I'm watching the lady behind the desk. I'm just thinking, like, I wonder if she's looking, going, "Ew, is this his daughter or his date?" <laughs> I I tell you this though, much. We'll see what they have to do though. Is they have to play that off. They'd be like, "Okay, we'll have a great time and everything," because. See, I'm gonna let you in a little secret. When I used to work concierge at, at, at a at a very high end mm-hmm. apartment complex mm-hmm. over on the east side, uh-huh. you would see a white guy come in with a a, a, a very tall Asian lady. He like, oh, this is oh. my sister and everything. I'm like, well, you two have a great time and enjoy your stay here tonight. And, the and then, you, you, then you couldn't wait to turn and call somebody, right? <laughs> <laughs> I could, exactly. I'd be like, man, you ain't. I text my boy that little. I'm like, man, you ain't gonna believe what's coming up to the seventh floor right now. <laughs> yes, yeah, that whole yeah. thing. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. It, no, no, yeah. They kissed, kissed, and mm-hmm. then they they slept in the big king bed, and she, you know, they were all cuddled up. They were mm-hmm. spooning. They were mm-hmm. in, in what I like to call the nook position. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. The gag reflex again. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> listen, listen, anyway. The, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and okay, listen, and wait, found wait, happiness. Wait. We can't. We gotta stop. We gotta leave Ed alone. Leave I Ed like, alone. I actually like Ed. I, the, the, it's the age difference that really. If you look at the mature lady, his age, I'd be like, yeah. yes, yes, yes. I like Ed, yeah. but you, you get somebody that's. It's not two years younger than your daughter. Exactly. So we're going to see how this plays out. So oh, God. I'm definitely going to be watching next week now. You I will definitely who... be watching. Happily mm. Ever After. Mm. Yes, Happily Ever Yes, that comes on next week. I'm I'm really excited for this one. That, yes. We're we going to have a whole lot to talk about for this season. Happily cause... Ever After. Mike and yes. Nally will be on there. So I'm Ooh. real curious to see. You let know. Me... Let, let, let's talk about all the couples on there right now. Okay, right now the list, the you got All the right, list. here we go. Let's start with everybody's favorite, Mike and Angela. Mike and Angie. Angela lost uh, like 100 she, pounds or something. Yes. She got the uh, gastric bypass surgery or the lap. Okay. She got one of those surgeries. I'm not sure okay. which one. Okay. Uh, yeah. Surgery. Okay. Uh, and if you remember the tell-all, now that was a juicy tell-all. The mm. tell-all was, that she was on. Mm-hmm. She mentioned she she wanted to lose weight and she got that she's going to do that surgery mm-hmm. and Michael wasn't happy now he, now now for those who don't know you know mm-hmm. Michael is from Nigeria mm-hmm. um, you know African men you know black men too mm-hmm. like thicker figures they they want something to hold on to okay mm-hmm. you know it, it's it's only in America you know. Uh, have things been kind of whitewashed and they're supposed to be like a size two and you know this twiggy thing and and have a body to be attractive and that's just not true when you go to you know countries like Nigeria and mm-hmm. you know they like fuller thicker women and yes. in, Africa, in Africa the bigger you are they, they the more money you have like that's mm-hmm. that's how they put that with you know so he wasn't happy Mm-hmm. He was happy with her doing the surgery, right? Um, but they're still together, and they're gonna mm-hmm. be unhappily ever after. Well, if you and... remember, they... oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. 
I'm just saying, that's it. I, I was just saying they're gonna be happy ever after, and I'm just I'm ex- I actually like them. I think he I do. genuinely does care for her. Yeah, and and if you remember, they actually got married over. They're actually married over in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. They're married, so I'm serious. So I want to see if this time. My hope is this because I actually do like them. I know a lot of people want to hate Angela, but you know what? I mean, she's one of the people that's like is like you you you, you hate her. You, you can't stand her so much you end up liking her. So it's like, you know, you you root for them. And I actually do hope that he does come over here. This we I, I I my prediction for them is at the end of the season, we will see him get the K1 visa yeah. come over here and then they'll be on the next season of 90 day. Because yeah. technically their 90 days haven't started yet. And then we see them um, you know, we see them get married in the next season of 90 day fiance, because you know it's yeah. gonna happen. So, yep. exactly. Okay. So next couple we got. Oh, this is a good one. We got Andre and Lily. Cricket. Andre. Who's Andre and Lily? Andre and Lily. You remember Andre? Oh, come on. Andre was the big uh Moldovan dude. Oh, Andre. Yeah, how yes. can I forget Andre? Yes. Come on. I love them. Yes. Yes. Come on. Andre yes. and the big you know, I didn't like him at first. Uh, mm-hmm. Andre. She, Andre is like her. Andre. Um, yes. I didn't like him at first, but he grew on me. He he did. He grew. He kind of softened up a little bit after they yep. had their daughter, especially. Yeah. Like, you know, um, I love her because she mm-hmm. doesn't. She stands up to him. He's a little mm-hmm. bossy and a little, you know, a little mm-hmm. abrasive sometimes. And she gives it right back to him. Yep. Yep. So they're going to be on there. And of okay, course, well. remember, we remember they were in Moldova. And you remember her brother yeah, caused the yeah, scene at their yeah. wedding. So yeah. we never got to saw how that play yeah. out. So we're going to see how that play out this season. Yes. All right. We got, who else we got? Okay. From the, fir- from the first season of uh, 90 Day Fiance, the other way, we've got Tiffany and Ronald. Oh, now, if you watch okay. the first season, now Tiffany, she went over to South Africa, yeah, she married Ronald. And remember, Ronald, his biggest vice was he had a gambling problem. Okay, I remember and that. They, yeah. they ended up getting pregnant and they have a yeah. daughter. And yeah, uh, from what I've seen on, on, on like Instagram and everything and on the 90 day post on Instagram, yeah, she's living over in South Africa now. So oh, they're gonna be on this season. So I'm yeah. so I, I want to see where their story goes. Yeah, not really we've, interested. Next. <laughs> <laughs> okay, of course, we've got some newcomers. We've got Yara and Jovi as well. I as I'm interested in them. They Michael got baby and now. Julia. They and Michael and Julia. I want to see yep. them get off the farm. I want to see how Yara and Jovi's baby is. Mike and Natalie, because in the <laughs> you know, we've been hearing some stories about them. Hey, it's a little suspect, and, and somebody yes. even, you know, people even said that you know, at the reunion show, mm-hmm. it's like, wait a minute, you went through hell and back to get this ring, you finally got the ring, and now you're not wearing it. And her excuse was, I was afraid it gets stolen. Really? Come on, now. really, and, and, then, and then you saw that they first of all they arrived separately. Okay, and then when they had lunch, she got up and stormed off. And then after the tell-all, they walked past each other the way Beyonce would walk past Kim Kardashian, and their husbands was best friends. Wow. So I mean, you got so there's them, and then you've also got uh, one of the one of the ones that we really want to see is uh, Kalani and Aswelu. Oh, I love them. Well, I yes. love Kalani Aswelu. Yeah. Mm, well, I, yeah, he's, he's he's younger than her, so he's he's trying to he, catch up. He's mentally yeah, he's not there but he's yet. still. I I don't like the way he talks to her. Yeah, he calls her names. He's cussed at her. There was a mm. few episodes that he was way out of pocket. Where I would be like, I would send him a uh, pack him right on back to the island because mm-hmm. you ain't gonna talk to me crazy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yep. you know, she she soldiered through, and mm. uh, yeah, uh, it's gonna be interesting because in the preview, his sister. And, and her, her sister, sister, they go feisty. at it. Her sister's the feisty one. Yes. You know, Kalani's a little more laid back and, mm. you know, but her sister is a whole other story. Her sister is not afraid of... Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, and, and, and I commend her sister because she is, not only she's the feisty one, she's also very protective yeah. of, of, her, of her sister because she doesn't want to see her get hurt, but also it's because she has a connection to, to their kids because if you remember, especially the oldest son that they have, remember almost the first year that that little man was here on the earth, it was her that helped her sister raise right. him because right. she was still in the island. 
And right. now, of course, his family, which we which we learned last season on 90 Day Fiance Happy Ever After, they're in Washington. Yeah. They're in like yeah. they're in like Vancouver, Washington. Yeah. And uh they've come up here to visit them. And yeah. I, I guess I mean they from what we've seen now, remember if you yeah. remember at the last tell all. His sister and Kehlani, they were uh, and and uh, Kehlani's sister. She's like, I'll fight you too. She's like, Oh, now you want to fight me now? Okay, bring it. She's so. just a little hot head. Something wrong with her. Some mental's mm-hmm. going on there because because she just wants to fight everybody. Every time you turn around, she's jumping up and you know. In the preview for next you know season, mm-hmm. and, you know they're trying to hold her back. She's trying to go. I mean, I'm like, girl, sit down somewhere. Just sit down. You know what that is, anyway. right? You know what that is. She wants that camera time. And that too. That's exactly <laughs> what she wants. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. So I'm, I'm right. excited. Well, I'm excited. Uh, happily ever after. We're going to see these couples. We'll definitely keep you posted because that's what we do here. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, until mm-hmm. next week. All if right. you can see it, look it up on demand. Yes. Um, and uh, we'll be back, you know. Next week as well, giving yes. you the recap, the WTF moments, mm. and of course our slant and opinion on things. Yes, we will. I can't wait. Oh, I can't. I so can't wait. I'm going snack shop. Matter of fact, as soon as we get in, I'm going snack shopping right now for next snack week. Shop. Shoot. I'm getting popcorn, chips, uh, uh, Tootsie Pops. I'm getting. Hey, I'm gonna be ready. My- <laughs> <laughs> I got my snacks. And I got my libation. Right? Exactly. I got I did see see I think I think next week for the premiere, I'm gonna have to pull up the top shelf. The top shelf. The top shelf. The top All shelf right. with Here's, to Here's to you. Until next time. I'm Casey Diva. I'm Anthony Adams. And uh we'll see you after thoughts. 90 day fiance WTF moments. Later. Later, guys. <laughs>